Harrison gets some, oh, now here's danger. Dennis with the ball now, chips it across. This could be trouble. Silvani will run in, gets a hand pass across. And the goal to Aitken will take the pressure off the Blues. Told to go by Glasgow, draws the man, flips over the top to Aitken. He can go back in board, decides to do it with the boot. Towards half forward, they've all gone underneath it. Behind the pack, Oja! Good pair of hands, Darren Oja, and he's displayed. McDonald goes long. Fairly the target for the mark, either Aitken or Alvin. And it's Aitken who's done well off interchange for Carlton on half back with the ball. Through the Seagulls, he puts it up towards the wing. Mossop kick. South Australian state player, playing his best club football in Victoria for the season. Long to half forward, and Aitken has taken Doritich's place at centre half back and has done all right. A couple of possession of players in support. Glasgow. Wide for Aitken. Help from Dennis. Aitken gets caught high by Perth and will take a free kick. Kennedy. Half forward, a good punch away. On the end of it, Yates. A high ball. Didn't cover much distance. Mark taken by Aitken. Good play. Play the hand out the centre half forward. Carlton lead by 11 points. The kick in is taken by Aitken. He's got a few rough edges, this young guy, but he's pretty strong. He gets the hand. Trapped it well at the second attempt. Goes long. Robbie Flower well placed. Barber in front. Aitken's played an excellent game. Aitken short kick out towards Alvin. Alvin's made around the boundary line, but Alvin marks in the back pocket for the Blues. Support shine across the face of goal to Aitken, who's among Carlton's best. He's played excellently. And a mile in the clear is Naley. 40 metres in the clear. In to Giles. Centre half forward. Aitken. Oh, good play, Aitken. Scoop. He goes out towards the wing. Kernahan's there. Of course, Langford is his marksman. But the mark taken by Aitken in front. He breaks away and pops it out to open spaces. Molly Meldrum running onto it. Dip in a quarter minutes. Airs towards the outer side. Dipper and Meldrum both nudged out of it. Aitken on the ground. Great play. 70 metres out from goal. Chris Langford from half-back flank. Up towards centre wing. Dorotich and Brereton having a bit of a wrestle. Allowing Aitken to go over the top. And drag down a beauty. Playing well, the young fellow. He's only played six or seven games. In the last month in their big victories. Carlton out of defence. Aitken ducks a tackle. Just gets clear. Oh, Glasgow, 30 metres. Now goes to Henwood. Big kick by Wayne Henwood to centre half forward. Aitken there for Carlton. Stretched and took a good mark. Oh, good play by Aitken. He's got a bit of strength, this young fellow. Inexperienced. It's his third kick. And they didn't mess around putting him back into the side as soon as he got fit enough. He's kicked up. Bolton. Long to half forward. Dorotich nearly takes a one-hander. Aitken there. Doing well for the Blues at half. Hugs off Satori. Well played Rod Carter. Reese Jones or Aitken. Aitken at the back. At centre half back. And look at the Swans pressure. He didn't get too clear. Good pick up Bradley. Haven't seen much of this. We haven't seen much of the Swans bursting up the centre today. And if they ever do, they get chopped off by people like Aitken and Dorotich. Here's Bradley. On to Alvin. The makes the mark between the centre and half forward. He plays on quickly. High towards centre half forward. Aitken up from half back. Twentieth kick coming up for the young man who's only played a handful of games. Just returned to the senior side after breaking his jaw against Hawthorne earlier in the season. And the Blues didn't waste much time putting him back in the team. He punts for goal. It's a good-looking kick. It's another goal of the Blues. And he, and he laid it. Number 22. Races back through the centre. 17th goal to Carlton. Well, played a top game, Aitken, after being out with injury. After uh, he had a broken jaw, and this is his first senior game back. And here's the mark again. Great mark in front. Just slip. Fourth mark for Silvani. Only came on at half time. Passes to Aitken, who's up on the forward line now. Silvani. Very quick, just playing in front. Another lead there from uh, Aitken. Running all over the place.
pace to the short passing game and of course that was good thinking by young Silvani because Aitken uh, a much bigger angle and there's Justin uh, I think he should be pleased with his ruck work today helped to get the Blues to the position 116 to 84 as Aitken drives to the goal a curious a short kick that one it's his first goal but not bad for the backman Yes, we had a pretty tired day because uh, Richard Osborne gave the real run around. Blues have the numbers. Kennedy has it between the ankles. Aitken back to Kernahan. From Western Australia, 18 years of age. But it's Ian Aitken. And pop one and Headley one two from Fairley. And Aitken, one of the new players who made his way through the under-19s, has been to the Wellington Road. Tapped out by Madden. Punch forward by Bradley, taken by Aitken. Oh, there's Kernahan, who's killing North Melbourne at centre half forward. And maybe John Kennedy may think of moving fairly down to centre half back, and McDonald to full forward. Still got McCann there on the bench, Kevin, of course. Yes, starting on the bench, Steve McCann, five possessions. So far to Kernahan. Already taken three marks. He's kicking from 25 metres out. What a great year he's had, playing at centre-half forward. And maybe he could even win the Brownlow medal. And with form like that, he may be on his way to best on the ground today because he has played a sterling opening quarter. And the Blues have hit the front. 3-4-22, North Melbourne. The ball up towards the long, loping Justin Madden. Coming out of it is Aitken. Aitken eludes the tackle very nicely indeed. Madden with the long kick forward. Carlton players up there, nearly taken by Evans. Coming by was Bradley. Players looking pretty slow now. Holding the ball. Correct decision against Don Law. Law made no attempt to get rid of it. What a silly piece of play that was in the current rules and the current climate of umpiring. At least you've got to give it a bit of a go. And Don Law didn't even thump his fist anywhere near the ball he should have at least given it a go and the result is a goal to Bernie Evans Burns. but here's Spargo out of the center can North Melbourne answer the challenge and Aitken a oh, great mark running with a flight of the ball Larkin kicked two quick goals on him in the first quarter but he's a soft Dermot Brewerton an awkward looking kick and a good mark under that the one. It was a hard one to take, but Ian Aitken did it well, and he's played a fine game. Yes, he is a very promising young player, Ian Aitken. And the Carlton player had no chance whatsoever. Tuck up towards full forward, and that's a beautiful mark too by young Ian Aitken in that last line of defence. Done pretty well, mate. He has done. Uh, played an excellent game. Out.